Hello everyone, Dr. E. Tagil is back, your counter-terror and defense expert. I want us to look at this video and take a close look at this scenario where there's a shop and two guys enter the shop one after another. Take a good look at their body language. And does this look normal to you? Take a good look at their faces. Is there any indications of suspicious behavior? One of them is gonna to try to drag you away from the cashier and ask you something stupid. Can you give him assistance? Can you show him something? While the other one is gonna to try to probably take that money away. But before you know it, a gun is pulled out in your face. You're knocked down on the ground and now you are a victim. Stay there! Get in the till! Get in the till, cunt! Stay there, you! You know what? We don't even know how it's gonna end. If the gun is pointed in your face, just give him the money and let him do whatever he wants. But if there is no other option, let's rewind this and take another look what can happen. Take a look at number two. This scenario is pretty interesting. You see, when you look at the video, you can see the employee in the shop is now looking to see what their hands are doing. He's trying to analyze the information what we call suspicious behavior. That is your number one line of defense and prevent further damage. Now, you're moving away from the cashier and you're talking to someone, but suddenly he pulls out a gun on you. This is why we want you to train gun disorders. Of course, you always give the money or the goods. Don't risk your life. Be submissive, collaborate. Don't make him feel you're a threat and then explode, burst and do the perfect gun disarm if you could, if your life was in danger. Protect your life at all costs. That's the highest value. Take care, guys.